Unqualified Opinions Podcast. Hi, well, welcome to another episode of the Unqualified Opinions Podcast. I am your host, Badger, and with me, as always, is the Maverick Martin. Hello. And the Gooch Gareth. I couldn't give a, <laughs> I couldn't give a good. No, there's no, there's no we're good, not going glorious, with that. No. Great. Anything but Gooch. Gregarious. <laughs> Groggy. Groggy? No. <laughs> Grotty. Gross. We'll come back to that. Gnarly. <laughs> Gnarly begins with the G. Gnarly, Gary. Gnarly, dude. Yeah, that's well, he's better than Gooch. <laughs> remember the 90s? The human Gooch. Yeah. No one actually remembers the 90s. Everyone remembers the 90s. Like 1997 a... was the best year ever, though, wasn't it? Was it? Why yeah. was it 1997? Uh, Godzilla. Was that 1997? Oh, yeah. Was it 97? I remember the promotional marshmallow cups of that. They were green and taste like shit. Yeah. Loads of stuff came in 1997. Can't recall any of it at the moment, but it was a great year. Wasn't some Szechuan sauce come out in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can, are we already getting on time? <laughs> We've got some time to kill. Let's just do Rick and Morty. Yeah. We're gonna, we're, we've been away for a while. I think last time we did one was about the 15th of March. Well, we released on the 15th of March. We watched Lagoon. Lagoon. Um, and since I then, didn't watch Black Lagoon. Uh, Should preach from the Black Lagoon. Maybe. Um, yeah, we're not doing news because I didn't bother looking up news. And also, by the time we put this out, it's not news anymore. It's not new news. It's old news. No one cares about old news. Mine's got some gaming stuff to say. Well, well, we'll, go, well, we'll go on original recipe on Qualified Opinions Podcast, but this time with Gareth. I actually added Gareth. Ooh. Wait, what? The original on Qualified Podcast, we would just talk about what the fuck we want in no particular format. Mm. But you're here. Yeah. You've never done it this way before. No? No. Oh. We've always done the news segment and shit when you say that to all the boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the cast offs you had I before me. <laughs> yeah, like Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. They probably don't even listen. Uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, when he comes in and beats you up. Uh, I'm on board with that because that's my fetish. <laughs> and some people on podcasts and they come and beat me up. That's how I get my jollies. He, he works with me now. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Okay, cool. So if I turn up with a black eye. <laughs> yeah, beat Gareth up. Do you want some gaming news or what? No, just tell, don't tell me new. Just tell us like it's a conversation. Okay, uh, do you know Star Citizen? No, 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 didn't think you did. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why don't you even bother? Yeah, no, it's a game that's been under Do you know crowd. what a game console is? No, no, I don't. Yeah, it's a game that's been under crowdfunding for fucking years, and it's basically like space shooter planet. How long has crowdfunded even been a thing? Crowdfunding's been a thing. Three and a half years ago. Million what was the first most profitable crowdfunded thing? This is the most profitable. Give me that crowd. information off the top of your head now. $146 million for Star Citizen. Bill Gates. Star Citizen <laughs> Bill Gates. Yes. Well, he was crowdfunding. He wasn't even called Bill Gates for it. He's called Joe. Hang on, he's Martin's laying out some facts, sorry. $146 million uh, Star Citizen has accrued so far, and they've released nothing but footage of a game <laughs> and <laughs> sold people like ships that don't even actually exist in a game that doesn't exist yet. You think What's I could the do that? So they, they're selling like just rendered images. It's been going. Or unrendered and, images. And, and well, videos and things like that. When you say it footage does, of a game, is it the, the game they're going to release, not just like Sonic or something? Is this just. Is this just No Man's Sky? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I don't think there's any danger of it being disappointing because it doesn't seem like there's ever a point where it's going to get released. But it's like literally a first person space game where you can walk about your ship, you can go on like EVA, you can literally throw yourself into space to go and like that. You even actually have a helmet that you have to wear to get all your, like, your hood and your information and things like that. And if you take your helmet off and leave it somewhere and forget where it is, you have to go and buy a new helmet or go and find If this gold game gold. never gets created, do people get their money back? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. No, I don't think I don't think crowdfunding works like that. So, no, because you're kind of you're willingly be... just paying for essentially nothing. Is that how it works? You're that's... paying for a promise. I thought you're paying yeah. for a product, but you're well, a product I that always... has to come at some well, point. No, I always think it's like you know if you crowdfund something and that thing you say they don't reach the target. I, I, I don't. Know. I, well, I know it's so you give yourself a set time normally. So if you haven't raised X yes, amount of money by the set, set time, time or yeah. under that amount, you don't get anything. Yeah, so yeah. say you ask for a million and you got nine hundred uh, nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine, you don't get nothing. Where does the money go? So go we'll go back to the people, surely. Mm. It doesn't just go in the fucking iCloud. <laughs> Maybe. Just Who fucking... Knows? Bill Gates gets it. Steve Jobs' grave. Uh, they just, like, <laughs> just uh, dig him up and shove it in his like armpits. A so. piggy bank. Just like buried in the top of his grave. Yeah. <laughs> so this game... Hey, look, start, this game started development in 2011. That's a long Fuck time. Me, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect Andromeda was out in less That's time. like a hundred in dog years. It's not. It's not. That's <laughs> all. It's just, it's a while in human years, that does, that, that'll it's, do us it's fine. It's almost, like, <laughs> six yeah. years in human um, years. It has been, like, 
under scrutiny. People sort of saying, like, we're, we're not getting anything. They've not even got, like, a basic function of a game yet or anything like that. They, say, they keep saying, oh, we're going to have more content when it comes out. It's going to be fantastic and brilliant and everyone's going to love it. So it just keeps the scene just like the So they keep out. talking about I new look- content without a fucking game in the first yeah, place. Yeah, there's no actual game. They've got the announced official they were going to like push towards official release in 2015, but then after that, nothing has been said. I like to think that it's taken so long because they're trying to program this game and design it and everything, but no matter how hard they try to design like a, what if it was, like a space game or something. Yeah. yeah. No matter how they try, it just keeps ending up like Tetris or something. The original <laughs> game. Why does it keep changing into Tetris? <laughs> Wait, what? What is the game? Star Citizen. No, what do you fucking do? You are... Uh, it's a first person Are you a game. citizen of the stars? And basically they're <laughs> aiming for an EVE Online. Anyway. Obviously you don't know what that is either. Nope. Okay, so basically it's an open world MMO where like everyone who's playing the game is all playing together. Mass and you multi can, you could, online? Yeah, well done. Nailed it. And then, <laughs> so, of course enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, I came up so, with a word for M, M and O. What more do you want? <laughs> you essentially like decide what you want to do. If you want to become like a space fighter, if you want to become like a fucking mercenary, jump on other people's ships and shoot you in the face, a pirate, well, a trader, a miner. We're going to become a cleaner. Right. So did No Man's Sky see this idea when we can do that and bring it out quicker and make the money and capitalise well, on this idea? I was possibly. saying that. They, no Man's Sky has released a lot of patches recently. To like yeah, I feel like that. Base building and yeah. vehicle. But it kind of like takes away from it because like you're supposed to be exploring. Why build a fucking house? Did they release an eye patch? <laughs> I tell you what, No Man's Sky... I'm not even entertaining that one. <laughs> Laugh to yourself, no one else's. <laughs> so, a game which I didn't know I wanted until right now, though, like No Man's Sky Cross in Minecraft. <laughs> That's what it is now. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not going to go buy a PS4, but <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Get on PC? I don't have a PC. I've not played a computer game for over a month. I tried to I turned my own DS three DS and they play Pokemon. I didn't play Pokemon, I just turned off again for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, Pokemon, nah, I'm over it. One day you will <laughs> just the intro screen and it just as a little music I'm like, I can't be fucked. <laughs> one day you will pick a starter. Maybe. One day. One day. It's just Charm and Rob Bulbasaur, it's just so hard. It's, it's always It's taken me since nineteen ninety seven. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. No. Bulbasaur was my first Pokemon, I say he's still one of the better Pokemon. Yep. You know everyone if so what if he's piss week later on in the game? He's fucking great at the start, but you can get loads of Pokemon. is just great all the way through, though. Charmander is shite in the, fir- no, against, like, the, fir- the first gym. He's oh, that, no. Right? On the second gym. On the third one. Which the second gym is water. Yeah. Why would Charmander be any good in there? He's not bad with Brock. He's right. not great. Squirtle and Bulldog are fucking superior. Hey, Brock had a, a character which was mainly made out of rock. Like that. Oh, my God. He's cracked it. Oh, my fuck. What about <laughs> Lieutenant Surge of the Electric Gym? <laughs> oh. Oh. I see a pattern forming. What about Misty of the Water Gym? Yes. Uh, what's the main guy called? Gadget, Gadget. Ash. No, the like the main gym leader. Oh, was the guy from Team Rocket, wasn't it? What? The Giovanni. Guy. Yeah, the last gym. Was oh yeah. yeah. Fun times. Yeah, I don't We're remember. So on point. I really don't remember Pokemon very well. So <laughs> it's my first RPG, in fairness. It really got me into that. Mm. See, I didn't. I never got into the games. I got into like the pretty colours. I played oh, it. the first it. game was great. I didn't, I didn't play any games after that. I didn't play Pokemon. I played it Pokemon Gold. Mm. Oh no, no, yeah, I think I went. Back. The height for Pokemon for me was um, the Stadium game. Oh yeah, Pokemon Pokemon Star. Star. Oh yeah, I had that. I didn't even have it. I don't have the Six Four, but there was a Burger King in Swansea which yeah. had a, a standee. <laughs> I used to go there pretty much every day so I could go play it. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even know what the buttons did, but I kept smashing them and shit happened. Uh, <laughs> the life of a Welsh boy. <laughs> yeah, you just hang out in Burger Kings in Swansea. <laughs> What's up to this weekend, Gareth? I'm just going down to Burger King. I've my voice out. Wow, that's worse than mine. It went really off track. I don't know what that voice was at the end. It doesn't matter. <laughs> See, you can't take a, you take a piss off a Welsh actor, but I don't sound that Welsh. <laughs> to you? To you. To us. I remember phoning you at once. Yeah. And I said, all right, Gareth, and you mustn't have had my number because you said, whose voice is this talking? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's a Welsh you, thing. You're the most Welsh man I've ever met. It's on, it is on par with like whose shoes are them boots? Yeah, and things like that. I'll, I've, well, my favourite Welsh ism is uh, I'll do it now in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and you just leave me and go like, what does that mean? Do you know what? It's like it means I'll do it now in a bit. <laughs> this reminds me. This reminded me of something that's not really relevant, but yeah. Um, you know what it, it, none of this you know, is you know relevant. What, you know what got added to Netflix this week? What the whole um, like. Series of uh, League of Gentlemen. 
Oh, you really? lied to yeah. me, Edward. There is a Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> See, there is a link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking of local people. Really. Segway. <laughs> yeah. See, I um, I, I never fully sat down and watched all of them. I've seen the movie of all things. things. I, I think I saw the movie, but I kind of got into it towards the back end of it. Yeah, I saw the movie of all things and like the odd episode, but I haven't sat down and uh, what, gone through I, them. I actually well, I worked in Hadfield once. Okay. I like, worked there a few times and there is a shop next to in Hadfield and I went in thinking I'll just get a drink. I was quite thirsty. Nice hot sunny day. Went inside and the first thing the woman behind the account said is you're not from round here, are you? And straight away I left. I was just like, not you doing cool. it. You were like, you were just like, I'm not going through this bit. <laughs> yeah, I literally was there looking at a can of coke going, I can't even ask for it. And she's going, I can, I can't. And I ended up getting shot with a crossbow. Don't touch the precious things. <laughs> yeah, also this week, Netflix have added the new series of I Zombie. Have you watched I Zombie? Is that out now? Yeah, the first, the first episodes, they're doing it weekly. Because no UK channel wants to pick it up for some reason. It's a shame. It's such a brilliant it's series. Crazy. Yeah. Are they doing it so episodically then every week? Yeah, every week they put a new one out. So cool. I, I, I was racking my brain the other day of how the last series ended. Uh, I know. Oh, yeah. All I remember there was it's another very... zombie eating someone with other people, and she sort of walked in. It was um. It was the end of no. They went, they went to the basement of Max. So they were fighting Ra- fuckers. Max Ranger. Which one was Max Ranger? The the, the, the energy drink of Max Ranger. <laughs> what? I don't even remember. I'm going to have to go back talking, and watch it. You've seen season two? Yeah, yeah, I have. And, it's, it's and like, I have, that's what I'm trying to fucking about, remember what it's happened. It's mostly based around her trying to find out what the fuck's going on with Mac Ranger, the company, and the, the CEO, but he's up to no good. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, I totally up, remember that now. Yeah, and yeah. Up, I know that guy. And it's like the ends in, they go in the basement when they find all the zombies and then they let them all out. Yeah, oh, yes. Right, okay. That actually helps. I've not seen it since it was on. Yeah, but I don't. But you remember? I, remember that, yeah. <laughs> I do not. No, because I think I, I remember I, getting great enjoyment, but I don't remember what happened. When I saw the first season on Net, the first episode on Netflix, season three, I just went, "Oh, what happened to the last one?" I just kind of sat there and stared into space for five minutes. Uh... <laughs> Max Ranger, I remember now. But I'll it, go, I can't believe I'll that. Go back I mean, and watch um, that. was it, it? It's not a Netflix original, though, is it? No, no, it's it uh, was originally on TV. I'm guessing there's some point. It's, 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 it's on an American channel. I'm not can't remember which channel it's on. I want to say CW. Yeah. But I don't get it. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah, it's a funny. One. I, I'm very surprised we've got it so quickly on Netflix. Netflix usually just takes for fucking ever. Mm. But yeah, to get it, it's good that we got it straight away. It was just so, one of those like because when it first went on Netflix, like I'll give it a go, and it was yeah, one of them just great. binged it for yeah. like until until I was done. I loved it. I finally got around to watching Stranger Things. Oh, oh. did you? Yeah, yeah. How was it? All right. Yes, it's it is. Right. It's all right. No, but it is. No, it's really all right. Good, really good. That's yeah. the thing. It's enjoyable. It's all right. Did you like it because it got Dungeons and Dragons in Martin? Did you like it because it got Dungeons and Dragons in Martin? It's really fucking nerds. No nerds play Dungeons and fucking Dragons. Get over it. Only super cool guys. <laughs> Maybe podcast it. No, the Dungeons and Dragons thing was a nice little touch. It made it like quite interesting for me. Yeah, relatable. Yeah. You. Just you. Just well, that's the thing. When they're writing it, they're going, we must make this relatable to Martin Robinson from Washington. Who will take absolutely ages to watch it. <laughs> but, but, all about him, but, he will, but he will binge watch it over a weekend. <laughs> you had the perfect reaction to it, better than most people, and you had the same reaction I did. It's like, do you like it? It's like, yes, it was really good, and that's it. This fucking gushing over this, like, groundbreaking... It's not groundbreaking, it's not the best thing ever put on fucking it's, Netflix or TV. It's just a really good, solid I think, series. It's I think it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a... It's, it's essentially Goonies, but properly good. Yeah. Goonies, well, it's, Goonies it's, it's, crossed it's, with Wayward Pines. It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a million and one references from shit which the people who made it liked, it, and think, that makes it good. And it is yeah. very good. Do you think it's most like... It's not groundbreaking, it's, it's not the best thing as ever put out. It's just it, really good. Do you think this sucks in most people because of the nostalgia of mm. the 80s and stuff like yeah, I remember that from a kid. Yeah, of course. I love this. Yeah, the music and everything like that is clearly geared towards most like, people, people who'd watch anything from like the Oh, mate, they must stage. have made so much money. It's all like Arms of the Galaxy off their soundtrack. Mm. Yeah. That soundtrack did so well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I talk about nostalgia and people being stuck to things like, I know it's a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, quite a few people went to see Power Rangers, the new Saban's Power Rangers movie. Ah, yeah. A lot of people put it on Facebook like, just about to watch the Power Rangers movie, and then there was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then deathly silent. Yeah. I, I haven't heard much about it. I feel it. that's uh, the kind of like response you get when you see a movie and you're going to go, huh. Mm. And it's like, not good, it's not bad, it's just like, huh. Yeah, but that's the thing, I know one person who saw it, and that was all the review they gave me was just like, it, it was um, a Power Rangers It was a film. <laughs> it was uh, a <laughs> It was a bunch of scenes put together. The main... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to see it at some point. It had the guy breaking bad in it. Yeah. It, it sounds exactly what I thought it was going to be, which was a Power Rangers film done now. 
I always think this well. Like, you're not, uh, you're not going to get the best film ever made. You're just going to get a Power Rangers film set now. Yeah. <laughs> I, will. I'll, I think I'll watch it when it comes out on the free things. Like DVD or like on telly. But I don't think I'll DVDs aren't free. free. They are if you You're stealing from me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you work so much? Hey, Gareth, how are you? Why, wearing that really big coat that he has. <laughs> People wait on since being a star. I know I'm just bloated today. I've too many DVDs. Don't bother. Uh, people generally do steal DVDs from me all the time. I don't get it. It's like, who you sell these to to make money? Uh, actually, that's about it. It's my annual contribution to your industry this month. Oh, it? yeah. I'm going to buy Rogue One and Blu-ray on Monday. Oh, well, oh, I'm not from your shop. I'll go to Sainsbury's. Oh, how much is Sainsbury's charging? £15. I bet my Shiba. Oh, it's not a dick measuring contest, guys. It, mate, I'm, I'm selling a dying four match here, right? I've got to hustle. Right. Generally, if you can get it, me. For fourteen pounds, that's how fucking thick I am about money. You can get it for fourteen pounds, I'll buy it. I mean, if you just like stopped recording for a sec, I mean, I'll steal it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just said that on recording. I have whispered it though, so it's cool, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. The microphone can't pick up whispers. <laughs> I actually have no idea how much your house is going to be, but I, I guarantee you it will be dear. The thing is, I place. have to buy the fucking Blu-ray, and I don't care for Blu-ray, but it's the <laughs> only on the Blu-ray. Do they have the special features? Yeah, that's why I buy Blu-ray. Yeah, the DVD. Fucking film and fuck off, I say. Blu-ray have so many special features of shit you generally want to see. And it annoys the fuck I out of me. I will be purchasing neither. I'm thinking as well. But you loved that film so much, mine. It was awful. <laughs> it's not there, I'm thinking that Very either <laughs> the, the new Star... We should be doing a Star Wars trailer as well for episode 8. This one should be a well, good one. Well, when did uh, the trailer for Force Awakens come out? an even number. <laughs> it's just not Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> All the Star Wars are great. When, uh, when did the Force Awakens first trailer come out? Uh, fucking ages before. Like, yeah. Because it was like the first one in... Well, on. when's the next big con? I, I, it's like, I'm guessing they're going to debut one, something at Comic-Con. Rogue, when's that? Rogue one, Comic-Con's up to like July. So probably July. You know, no, I think... Well, Rogue One's trailer came out like this week last year. Because I saw my time up going, Ooh, 8080s and things! Or at us. I don't know how you say it. I don't care. At us. Yeah, that's how I'd Well, I actually don't say that. It's arguable. You can't say ATST. It should be ATST. It should be, yeah. Could, what would you call an ATST then? An ATST? You can't call it an ATST. <laughs> <laughs> you do say ATST, so you should say ATST. I know, since you started talking about this, Martin's eyes have got like, a bit more angry looking. Yeah, yeah you do look <laughs> a bit more fucking livid. But yeah, I, I, I think either a trailer is going to come maybe out on the same day, maybe it's on the DVD to see like a sneaky... It's not. I've seen, I've got them in work. Sure. Yeah, there's not. Right. <laughs> there's loads on there though. It's well worth yeah, getting. It'll probably be then later this month because it'll probably wait to yeah. get this out. Also, right. just a bit of side fact, the DVD artwork is fucking shit. The DVD one? Yeah. yeah the the, the Blu-ray movie. looks mint. Really nice artwork. The no, slip case is different the than the insert. Honestly, the DVD, it looks like fucking Star Wars Love Island, the front cover of it. It, it looks really low budget as shit. I don't get it. I don't think, like, cause I think my DVD's on the way out. They will. Can you stop saying that, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, people, will be, people will be buying Blu rays now. No, in all honesty, they don't. Don't they? No, no. But the thing is, people don't buy DVDs either. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think that's <laughs> If you're going to go buy something like that, which is like nowadays not as common, you're probably going to buy. You're going to have one and you probably want the Blu-ray, which mm. is a better version. Well, the thing is, so when it comes to selling like DVDs and Blu-rays, the majority of people who buy any sort of physical format now are older. And especially the older generation who want to buy new films, they don't even have Blu-ray players, they don't know what a Blu-ray player is, so they I just buy a DVD. They've just, only just got fucking VHS. I wouldn't have bought a Blu-ray player, but I have an Xbox One. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. I, I can only play if I have an Xbox One. Yeah, Before that, I, just, I had no interest. No, yeah. I still have no interest, but now I have the capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to trailers. But I thought we were doing we, games. We never got to trailers. Uh, this oh. is games. Oh. Ah. Oh. Crisscross. Game change, Crisscross. game trailer. Um, Mass Effect and Drama. No, no, no. no. Uh, That's not a trailer, thing now. I know, but they've got DLC yeah. now, probably. Yeah, it's, it's a trailer for oh, it. Yeah, DLC's on the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> um, to it's take a bit Injustice 2. Uh, oh yeah, this has been all over. Man. Load yeah. characters have been in that. Oh, like, well, show, show. So you got Bane. I don't know how I feel about Bane. Cheetah, well. Catwoman, uh, Captain Cold, well, Deadshot. Cheetah look like you got pictures. Uh, I'll get one up. Yeah, Captain yeah. Cold. I wouldn't mind seeing what they've got him. Deadshot, Scarecrow. Along with the shit Captain Cold from League Legends of Tomorrow. Like and Grilla Grodd. 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I do love Grodd, but the motherfucker is just a gorilla. <laughs> I think they put some armor on him. Dude, as, the motherfucker uh, is a gorilla. Who can't make a gorilla? Gorillas are cool. The Gorilla City episode of The Flash, though. 
I mean, it's, it's CGI heavy, and they don't have the money to be CGI heavy. So it's just the fact that God was beaten by the other. Eight. That's not the biggest problem with that episode. The biggest problem is when Flash, the guy who can fucking turn back time with his speed, I runs into a. <laughs> A stop so you can yeah go on. Yep. There you go. Shay. What are we looking at here? I mean she looks fucking weird Who's in the that? face. That's Cheetah. Oh, okay. But I'm happy with the design. Yeah. I mean that face isn't great. No, but the thing with the episode of that flash would piss me off. The fucking flash keeps forgetting how good he is. Because he ran directly into that fucking not Grod, the other fellas um no it was sorry, it was Grod. He ran hey. into his fucking shield. He ran headfirst into his goddamn shield. Yeah. This is a guy who can stop time and stop a speeding bullet, but he can't know to move I'm a being, bit I, to the left to not run headfirst into a shield. I said, I, I said, I that's probably because like the are obviously highly advanced, like telepathic. They things. could be as no bullshit. But, like, they could be as advanced like, as they want. If yeah, he's fast probably... enough to go into other fucking worlds and dimensions, yeah, he, he can not run headfirst into a shield. Unless he sits there literally yeah. staring at something and pre-planning his every single move to the fine detail, telepathy would not even know how fast would not be able to keep up because it would take. No, I mean, I this being so seen when, when like, he's moving animal. so fucking fast that the world is flying around him and it looks like he's walking I'm saying slowly it's... around. Yeah, he runs into a shield. I'm saying it's like like animal instinct. He kind of reflects. Reflex. Reflex. I don't know why I said that weird way. Reflex. 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 Nah, I call bullshit. That bugged me. <laughs> and the episode was well, okay. Well, at the end of the day, it'd be a fucking shit TV show. Well, the entire... kind of zipped in and just beat the villain. Did, 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 did that one mile run fucking supersonic punch every yeah. episode? <laughs> oh, there's no one here. <laughs> well, it's a series three of The Flash in general. You know what, so uh, about the plot. No K. I'm looking forward to season four, because apparently the main villain in season four is not going to be a fucking speedster for once. That would be entertaining. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Well, see, that. sure, actually, sorry, sorry to continue about oh. the Flash mine, because I know you have no idea, and you're like, I want to talk about games, I motherfucker. The first yeah. series. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is... I know who the Flash is. My favourite DC superhero. After, after introducing all the villains they've come across, the one villain which they have to, they should keep to be the ultimate enemy is the one from the fucking uh, the musical episode. What's his name? Music Meister. Music Meister. That motherfucker <laughs> has full control of them, cannot be held by them, is that and can put them into their own world. Is it because he's that good, or is it because you're a bit of a gleek? What the fuck's a gleek? A glee fan. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I have never seen an episode of Glee. Oh, I fucking have to watch Sex and the City, don't I? <laughs> it's not me spin off to Glee. I raise you your Glee to Sex and the City. I raise you your shite for Sex and the City. I can beat you both. I have to watch both of them. I know it's Beauty and the Beast. I know it's I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast. I haven't seen Sex and the City. I've had to I haven't watch. seen Glee. I actually feel like I've sprouted over it. Do you want to hear my terrible life? I've got to watch Sex and the City. I've got to watch Glee. I've got to watch fucking Made in fucking Chelsea. I bet you've seen oh, Notebook, oh, haven't you? And um, Vampire Diaries. I had to watch Desperate Scouse Wives once. That's a thing? Yeah, yeah. It's not, anymore. Wife. not anymore. But that was all. I mean, you gotta give him for the wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> but are you taking the piss, or is it a show actually called Desperate Scouse Wives? Yes, real thing, we'll get it up here. Alright. <laughs> no, I'll believe you. <laughs> oh, fucking dog shit. I'll apologise as well if you can hear some weird techno music in the background. It's not us. It's next door. I'm gonna try and edit in post. Don't worry, oh. we love techno. You can just pretend that we're recorded in, like, some rave club. Coming live from my beta. <laughs> well, we decided to sit around and I talk am gibberish. Pilling my tits off. Pilling. Yeah. People do pills, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's what's A pill still thing? I guess it might be proofing. TV wow, that, yeah, that is actually a thing. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Google it. So, are they tanned? I don't know. I or, I like, remember the, the, the opening sequence come on, and then it went black. <laughs> And then I just I woke sat up, there. And then I woke up two hours later. And I woke up feeling really angry. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went black. Everyone was screaming. I felt better. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So, is that more gamey stuff? Yes. Oh, so I was going to quickly say, you showed me a picture of Bane in that Injustice 2. Yeah. I think he looks cool. It's all right. What's your, what is your problem with it? bottle opener is dog shit. Just get the, get the better bottle <laughs> opener. You why always, put, why you put always the shine get on the, the table? bottle opener? Why? Look, all right, so, right, for, for the listeners, for the listeners... On on just looking at it, this is easily the best fucking bottle of nail you'll ever see because it's a Batman goddamn barang. Like yeah, it's a Batman bottle. Practicality wise, unless you don't mind slicing open your hand, you, it's great. <laughs> I want to trip to I think time. like I think the, the first time Batman uses so. batarang, it went really well. No, we have to practice for it. I don't think he's used to open beer. Is there? Has it been Are you telling me that Batman's ever well, no. came back with a cool bud? You're a fucking idiot. No, but what I'm asking is, is there ever been a scene in anything Batman where he's drinking alcohol? Like, yes, he goes to party. No, 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 sorry, I should 
parties and a bit of champagne to Matt. Like, is he ever be sat there brooding, like drinking a bottle of fucking Jameson's? Uh, he probably had like a whiskey. I feel like this. Yeah. I like. I'm a. I'm yeah, he's a billionaire. He's not drinking fucking Ron. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking Ron! <laughs> Kicking back with a can Ron of skull. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ron making a cameo. Oh, Thank fuck a fucking, fucking tin in. Four liters of yeah. white lightning, please. <laughs> Thank fuck Ron isn't here. We don't need a cameo from Ron. <laughs> Even though I'm not a Ron on this podcast, I'm going to say Sweet Rose. Sweet Rose. Ron is the most evil of drinks, never drink it. Yeah. It's like rum, but spelled Ron. <laughs> the thing is, people might not know, it's not technically called Ron. People might not know until they read the back of too bit. <laughs> anyway, sorry, people have no idea what the fuck we're talking about. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, um, yeah, next, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh. Was all like, I, I finished it. I mean, yeah. I want to listen to this properly. You, well, th- this is a series you fucking love. Yeah. Yeah. You've been waiting on this film, uh, this film, this game for so long. Five years. Uh, to the point, you took, was it one week or two weeks? Uh, over the space of a week. So you took mainly a full week off work to commit to playing this game. Yes. Six, What's your thoughts on it? Uh, after 50, 60 hours. Jesus Christ. Fucking fantastic. That's good. The amount of time for a game. That is a stupid amount of time, mate. That's, that's a lot. That's amount. love. You do not that is love know. and commitment you to do a game. Not, if you think that's, that's bad, bad, you do not want to know my Skyrim play. No, it does. My, 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 my call out. Gone. Go on. No, actually don't go on. I kind of do. My call out four ones longer than that. My, I don't know. I'm basically classed as casual on Skyrim and I've put about 400 hours into it. Fuck. That's about right for those kind of games. Mental. massive. I can't play a game for more than an hour without feeling like I need to go walk I'm not, outside. I'm not straight. I'm not being sat up for like fucking 20 days. <laughs> Ready for a four hour, 400 hour gaming session? Having power naps on loading screens. Like Just that. waiting for your loved ones to knock the door to make sure you're alive. <laughs> your beard doesn't grow itself. So, Martin, you okay? Mass Effect! <laughs> is, there, is there any, I mean, I, I, it was good. you're always going to love the game. Yes. I, is there anything you wish they could have done more, better? Well, <laughs> anything you were expecting which they didn't <laughs> there happen? Were, there, there was like uh, the usual kind of like complaints about the uh, people complain about the animations and the lack of. Uh, Luke said it didn't feel like there was much to do yeah. in this massive world. So you didn't give you loads of worlds to play. There were only a few planets you could actually land on compared to like the other aspects. But also you have to remember people comparing it to the first one. And say no, there's more to do, and it doesn't look that good. I went back and played the first Mass Effect recently just to sort of like compare the two, yeah. and everyone in the first Mass Effect, I love the game so much, everyone looks like a wax model <laughs> of a human. The thing is, like, when you... And the graphics didn't, aren't holding yeah. up in the slightest. The thing is, when you think back on a game you've not played it in a while, it's like, when you like think about the N64, like I think about the N64, you think the graphics are fucking amazing, because when you played it when you were a kid or whatever, it was fucking amazing. Go back and play Super Mario 64. Yeah, I'm shit looking. now. No, at this point, go back and play anything on the PlayStation no, 2. No, I did, I did this. Yeah. That's what I mean, when, I got, before I got the N64 the other year, I was like thinking about going, oh, fucking Zelda's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Groundbreaking. Graphics are amazing. I got it. I put it on. I was like, why is it all boxes? I don't understand why it's head in a box. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Why is my protagonist what? a cube? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of them. It's like, you know, people have fucking rose tinted glasses for nostalgia and they always will do. Like people say, everything was be- better back in my day. No, not everything was. A lot of things are a lot better. Everything was better back in my day. Because you were a child and things looked better when you were very young and impressionable and you first saw all these fucking magical things. Mm. Like Sonic the Hedgehog used to be a fucking groundbreaking, fantastic looking game. That's different though. Yeah, because it was. But it's different. I mean, it's different in... I'm too far away. You are. And now Sonic games, even though they are technically better in terms of graphics, look like... (laughs) When was the last Sonic game ever made? Like Uh, (laughs) Sonic 3D? No, no. Mode since then. (laughs) Not good. Not good. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The last good Sonic game. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles probably was the last good Sonic game. Then you got Sonic Spinball, I think. And that was (laughs) all. went downhill from there. So you're playing Mass Effect. So the real question I want to ask is how many... What sort of sexual deviances have you been up to? Uh, <laughs> so, not to chore off my bucket list of space space babes to uh, to pull out. Um, first time, first time ever you ever see a female chore in that uh, is in that game, and also a female Krogan as well. You, the, yeah. uh, you never see the female versions of what, some of the species in the original trilogy. Yet to see in this one. Have they stopped banning this um, game yet? Because obviously some of the no, other they, one games they, got banned because of the sexual content. These these sex scenes are Which are also not graphic. In the slightest <laughs> literally in this one, it came to the point where my character and the uh Taurian had a veteran who had invested my, my interest in, it came to the point where she pushed her onto a bed, it faded to black, and then it was just done and over with. Whereas in the first one there was asses and like a scene where they were kissing and 
everything like well, that. I, I remember, I think it was like the first one got banned in somewhere, somewhere odd. Thailand. Thailand. Well, no, I think it's like Australia. Oh, so yeah, like that, it got banned in. It got banned in Russia. It got banned in yeah. Thailand. But then it's like, right, let's look at the reality of this. It's just like there's two it, alien females. No, no, no. no. Well, not even least, female, really. The first one got banned. Yeah, technically, that alien, the first one's not a female. Yeah. They're a monogendered race. They're neither male nor female. Just because they have tits and hips and look like a woman. They look quite feminine. Yeah. So how many years has it taken for people to be like, okay... You, we'll, we'll watch him kiss now and we okay, won't we go can mad. Watch these imaginary characters. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking weird world. <laughs> yeah, fucking. People just need to get over themselves a little bit. Uh, yeah. What rate is we going how, how many. Um, all the potatoes. All the potatoes? Out of five. Out of five potatoes, how many almonds would you give it? Uh, seven kumquats. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't wait for DLC, obviously. And it. No, no spoilers, but it does lead on to. A sequel, eventually. No, the bad guy. It was absolutely brilliant. He was very reminiscent of. Uh, What's he called? He was called. Call back. Archon. <laughs> what? Archon. Yeah. And he was very reminiscent of uh, Star Trek villains in terms of like shit plans. No, well, not shit plans, but he had like an overarching. Badly goal. acted. Pretty badly acted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He had like an end game. So Star Trek. And then there was points where he met you, the hero, and beat you, and then. You sort of like have to overcome him you know, at the end, kind of thing. It's quite cool. They did it quite well. It's got like a big over the top kind of like, you know, yeah. uh, final battle and things like that. Oh, I like quite it. enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Yeah. I might play it. Great villain. I've still not finished Dragon's Age Inquisition yet. Well, I am still not finished that yet, to be honest. I'm too busy dancing with the spicy ambassador lady, just dancing around with her. So spicy. So spicy. <laughs> so exotic. Oh, I prefer. I can't make anything. I'm a dwarf in it. What are you? Uh, the grey guy? Quinari? Yes! What, what? Class? A mage? Unusual. Yeah. Really unusual. Because uh, I remember you saying, don't be a warrior and don't be the other thing. Don't be a rogue. Be a, a mage first, yeah. then a warrior, yeah. then rogue. Leave rogue to last. Rogue yeah. is the worst game to play. And the grey guy was the closest thing I could think to be a dragon ball. So I was like, yeah, let's go with that. Really? Into yeah. Dragon Ball? Dragon y kind of thing. I just, I just always like an L for a human and stuff, which I bought it. So well, to be honest, like the first time I played the first Dragon Age, I normally go straight for the warrior type, you know, mm. just make standard white generic hero kind of thing. That yeah. was the first game I said, now I'm going to change it up and made a lady mage, and I really yeah. enjoyed it. I think the thing is, like, normally when I do a role playing game, I usually try and create a character that's me, like the closest I can get to looking. <laughs> Have you ever done that in the Fallout Builder? Fallout 4? Yeah. Try and make yourself a man. Yeah, I look area. well better in Fallout 4 than I do in real life. I've got the smallest head in the world on Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> I just look really... The thing is, when I try to make my Fallout 4 character, I was like, I'll try and make it look like me. I just end up making it look like the actual original character they did. <laughs> and nothing like me. I was like, I am handsome. <laughs> I am deluded. <laughs> I don't think he had a beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That awkward yeah. moment you realise I'm gonna have to live the rest of my life in full life because I'm it. better then. Oh, it. It's kind of like whenever I get into yeah. a new RPG series, I think this is gonna carry in like the Mass Effect series. So I spent absolutely ages crafting my character, thinking I've got to play, I've got to play with this character, I've got to look at this face. For the next couple of days, that the next couple of games, I made that mistake in Mass Effect One. I just rushed through it. I mean, don't ended up with some monkey eared ginger bastard, <laughs> <laughs> and he went into. Don't look at my ears. <laughs> you can make a snide comment. And yeah. then uh, went into that. I spent three games. The guy who kind kind of got used to in the end, but they kind of like I know I knew I could have done a better job. I find that like I like for for like a prime example for me. Like you spend so fucking long designing the character, like making the right build, the right shade, the right face. You fuck about with cheekbones that don't do fucking anything really. <laughs> it means nothing. Plus one to handsomeness. I don't care. But like fucking then really, you spend so long doing it, and then it makes. No difference. No difference. Like, after a couple of hours of the game, you don't see his face half time unless you have a conversation with like a fucking. I was really disappointed with the dialogue in Fallout 4. Also in Fallout 4, I'm to spend my time wearing a fucking helmet that covers my face. It means nothing. Really? I just wore a sweet beret. Ugh. The sweet beret and some no, shit. I, I think I'm, my character, last time I left him, I think he's wearing that robo guy's helmet. Have you played the survival mode yet? No. You will die so quickly. I, I would die, like, literally turn the game on, like, well, wake survival up and mode die. is that you're like. Like you, you live until you, you die, and then you've that's got it. to eat regularly. You've got to drink regularly. You've got, got to sleep. sleep. Yeah, and you like if you go into like anywhere with radiation, you have to wear a. Is gas it mask you die? You die though. 
You die, you die. Yeah, you yeah. Can't, can you save? You can save when you sleep. So yeah, yeah. when you die, you restart from where you last sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. You but say I, that. I think when you die, you die, you can't do that character again, isn't it? Uh, no, yeah, if you do it properly, yeah. Yeah. Like a hardcore mode kind of thing. Yeah. I know. No, not for you? No, I, I would literally not get past those cockroaches in the phone. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Dog meat will never know my voice. <laughs> Dog meat's the man. Dog meat is the man. Correct. And is Andromeda the uh, the meat of your games then? Uh, at the moment, yeah. Uh, there's been a few more coming out this year though, which I'm super excited about. Uh, first will be Shadow of War. It's Shadow oh, of yeah. War oh, yeah. sequel looks fucking the trailer awesome. Looks super good. Is there any gameplay of that yet? Is it still just? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is. Yeah. And it, it looks. It still looks like it plays very similar to the original. Just be like they just put it on steroids. So hopefully that. I love the first one. It's a lot of rings equivalent of steroids. Uh, magic steroids. Just all penis. Gandalf piss. <laughs> <laughs> that bird poo in Radagasta Brown's beard. Yeah. Whatever you want, mate. <laughs> Whatever you want. Um, Radagast- oh, I love Radagasta Brown, was not it? He's so shit. So oh, he's brilliant, he's mate. Good. But he's like... That's a child. He's, he's great. Magic rabbit. He's great. He's pretty much... Like he's shit. He's not a good wizard. The first vegan hobbit. <laughs> he's not a hobbit. He's a wizard. Oh, he's fucking close to that. He's small. No, he's not. He's a wizard. He's a full-sized human being. No, he wasn't, was he? Yeah, the dude yeah, from The Hobbit. Yeah, the, the, the guy the brown. Yeah, the one who has the rabbit. The, the one who has the bird shit. Played yeah, by Sylvester Ses- 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 McCoy. Pull the Sylvester Ses- McCoy's pretty slant. small, though, to be fair. I rem- I, he's not a fucking it, hobbit, though, is he? It's been a while since I've seen his moves, but I remember him being like a hobbit size. I mean, like, tiny. Fair, like, he's a small fair, bloke. Like, I think in contrast to how big Gandalf is, yeah. he looks pretty small. Gandalf's yeah. fucking head. Yeah. To be fair, I've watched both these films once, not the third one, so... Speaking of Gandalf... Not the best person to go off this. <laughs> uh, I know you suffered with it. Beauty and the Beast came out, I went to Beauty see it with the missus. Beauty and the Beast. I went to see it with the missus. So did I. I did not... I, this, my review of it... Is it's like a happy lame is that's my review. <laughs> is it? Is. Yeah, like watching the cartoon, but they're real now and don't sing as well. They sing better. Actually. Clearly, they've been listening to the podcast. By the way, or listening to me at least. Have they? Yeah, because they fixed load of loopholes. Yeah, they fixed all the loopholes. Loopholes. Yeah, it is plot, loopholes. Plot, plot hole plots. Plot holes. Plot holes. Yeah, whatever. yeah, they, they fixed all the plot holes at the start, but there's still a few things mm. which I'm not agreeing with. Like who would be on the money? What? What do you mean who? Whose head is on the money? Is it the uh, <laughs> the, the um? Well, well, is this some kind of neo-communist I mean, empire that's suddenly sprung out of the To be fair, at no point did they ever exchange any currency. Communist. So the, Filthy. It, it could be a case of, they just, just, it's just a, you make the bread and then that's it, and then they, that person does this and they also. Also, there's a theory going around that it's just the same day, like, for them being repeated over and over, like, it's the same kind of time period being repeated over and over again. Also, uh, Bell gets beheaded. Oh, the Finally. Point. Huh? Some action. Bell gets beheaded shortly after the film. Right. If you are, if you work out when the date of when Beauty and the Beast must take place, because the mother dies of Black Plague, the uh, French Revolution takes place like. Is this get brought up like, in the film? Like twenty yeah, years after. In the live action film, they go to. Um, I don't know why this happens. They go, Paris. They go to. Through and the, your mum just dies of like the bubonic the plague. The mirror. They go for the mirror. Yeah. No, it's the book. Oh, no, the book. Go they go for a book, as you do. They go to Paris, as you do. Gay Paris. I like it. It's like I'm watching it. Is this just a page master crossover? I, I, I like to watch Easter egg videos. You know, like like on YouTube, and they go like they point out the Easter egg, and then they did one for the like being the beast, and they go, uh, and you know, at one point they go to Paris, and you can see the um, the cathedral, Is it the cathedral, Notre Dame, Notre Dame. Yeah, you can see Notre Dame in the background, and that's obviously a reference to Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's like no, they're, they're just, just in Paris. They're just in fucking <laughs> Paris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you actually work it out, like when the Black Death happened. The French Revolution happened shortly afterwards in history, so Belle would have probably still been alive at that point. And she's now a member of the French aristocracy. Head off. <laughs> so, yeah, happy ending. I mean, Viva la France! Uh, I'm not, not going to dig into this fucking madness. You. Yeah, yeah, you're right, mate. Whatever you want, mate. Yeah! Either right, way, right. I enjoyed it as a film, it was fine. Comment on a post. Oh, so you did enjoy it? I enjoyed it. It was alright. It wasn't yeah. great. I mean, it's Beauty and the Beast. It's the same. It's a story. Uh, it's a tale as old as time. It's, it's, it's a song as old as rhyme. It's, it's, it's <laughs> the third live action. Sweet Beauty and the Beast reference. Yeah, yeah. sweet man. Um, yeah, Jungle Book was good though. Was it? Yeah. I didn't like it. I like Jungle Book. I think that's better than this. <laughs> yeah, you question yourself. No, no. Beauty and the Beast has got Ian McKellen in it. No, that's true. Ian McKellen and Beauty and the Beast. And Hugh McGregor, surprisingly. Cogsworth and Lumiere. Yeah. 
I don't it's know. It's got a quite a big cast in it. The clock and the candlestick. There we go. Yeah. Why didn't you just fucking say that? Well, what are the chances of the guy called Cogler being a clock? <laughs> Couldn't figure that one out. It's like the sorceress was walking around going, can I take your name, Cogsworth? You're a clock. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I, what, what are you planning to do exactly? I'll explain later. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bloke in the back, in the back called said, your toilet. Just saying, like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> <are> <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur Tyler. Also, I, I, Captain Bogrel was shit. You enjoy picking Disney films apart. Yeah. Um, and you picked Beauty and Beast apart many times and told me and upset my missus greatly in the past. I don't know. And do you not have a problem with the character Chip? Well, because he's missing a part of his face. Well, part of his head. Like a hole in the top of his head. Well, he's got a yeah, but he's also. The cup. He's so lit- really, no, no, no. he's human. He should have a cracked open fucking head. No, he's, he's no, no, he really... no. You can't get into that. He's literally empty. He's a hollowed out oh, being. Do you know what I mean? Actually, uh, I, I have one problem with uh, Beauty and the Beast. Actually, the new Beauty and the Beast. Um, I super enjoyed the portrayal of Le Fou by what's his face? Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, come on. Everyone knows who you mean. I know. Yeah. Uh, we should. Josh Gad. Yeah, I knew the name. So don't know. He he was. He's been in a couple of comedy things. He was also the voice of Olaf in Frozen. Still don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Frozen. Frozen's okay. I tried. What well, I, I did actually. It's not like I, I know you a lot. Olaf is, I know a lot of this unqualified. Like not again. Like <laughs> I genuinely tried to give Frozen a chance. It's shit. Gareth, I couldn't get that, through. Gareth's too punk for Frozen. No, you can never be too punk for Disney films. But that is a bad I, film. I, I, bet watched, <laughs> I bet he's watched Hotel Transylvania like so many times. You well. fucking goth. I, I've watched both of them quite a few times actually. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're really good. <laughs> they are generally good films. But yeah, and yeah, no, the only problem with the Beauty and the Beast remake I had there was um like Josh Gad's Le Fou when they're like having the battle in the castle sort of thing. You just flip side for no reason. Well, I mean, you got a reason, but it's just shit. Well, like, it's like it's I hate you, I hate you, die, you're alright. It's just like. He just kind of like takes it just like in the middle of this battle. He goes, you know what? Gaston's a bit of an ass. I'm on your side now. And he literally just says that. I've decided I'm on your side. And they're like, okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. That's, that's how easily. Because, because he's French. Oh, okay. There we go. Do I have my French accents? No, because it's a Disney film. <laughs> Although, do I even speak French? I know, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> most people. Ian McGregor. Libya, yeah, Libya, yeah. Does, uh, most of the other people speak in regional British accents. <laughs> Makes sense. We're making a French film, make everyone British. And then, so the first person who watched it Actually, was Bonjour, Belle, Milan! <laughs> fun, fun fact for you, Gareth. Go for the it. The Beast is portrayed by uh, the main guy, by the guy. Um, Legion. Legion yeah. Yes, yes, I have been informed. Because I said that story because we watched Legion beforehand, and I said the story after we came up between Beauty and the Beast, like, oh, do you recognise the guy who played Beast? He's like, no. Like, it's a guy from Legion. like, watch Legion. It's like, we literally watched the episode a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> See, neither of you have watched all of Legion. I know I, you've I watched some episode, of it. You haven't watched any of them. No. I'm on episode uh, I, like... Been super double busy. Yeah, I won't go on to it, because I really want you guys to watch it and enjoy it as is. But <sighs> all I'll say is, I've watched it all, and it is easily one of my favourite seasons of any new TV show I've seen in a while. Um, it's about the most powerful mutant. That's the easiest way it's to explain it. It's essentially an X-Men thing, yeah. but not really... Yeah. Uh, he Maybe. is yeah, no well it is based in the X-Men universe he is. he is the most powerful mutant and it's about basically people not understanding mutant? yeah okay. uh, it's basically not a, not understanding uh, in the real world that this man is a mutant it's more they think he's fucking schizophrenic <laughs> crazy person but the actual reality is he's been living his life as the most powerful mutant not knowing that just thinking he's crazy I feel it's like and it's, oh so good I know it's in so the, good I mean the character it's not how like, good so, so good, good. The character of Legion is quite far from the comic book version. Comic book. Mm, comic well, book. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going Jokes for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going off a basis. Day today. I'm going off a basis of the TV show. I don't yeah. know the background. I don't know the comic books. I, would, I just see this as a fucking damn good TV show. It's really good. It's, it's kind of like it feels to me. It doesn't feel very X Men. I think that's probably why it's doing so well. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, yeah, the X Men films aren't great. <laughs> So but Logan! Yeah. That, that, again, that was so far away from the X Men yeah. films. Yeah. That's Ridiculously why, far away. Yeah. But references it's in so, Deadpool. It's like, it's like those two. That thing is Logan came out this year. The best X Men film. And, and Legion came out this year. It's like, oh, this is what you should have been doing for like the last fucking 17 years, you motherfuckers. Yes. It is exactly no, I can't uh, recommend it. And then there's like Fox is still going, 
We're going to do the Dark Phoenix saga with that girl from Game of Thrones. Uh, it's a bit... <laughs> Just destroy it, it all. It's, it's mostly, Reboot it again. The thing is, care. it's mostly annoying, be, but because it is X-Men and because it is a hell of a story if they do anything good with it, we're still going to fucking pay to see this, <laughs> even though we know it's probably going to be god-awful. Yeah. I think um, it's the most upsetting one. But yeah. Biggest plus with uh, Legion is that uh, Audrey Plaza, I think her name is, the one who was in Parks and Rec. Yeah. She is amazing in yeah, that. And you, you're only like three episodes in. She just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, I'm also she's brilliant. Clement from Father Concord, so Yeah, he's well. like a, like, he's not a big pl- uh, player in it, but when he does turn up, you'll enjoy every second he's on screen. Yeah, I always do. He's yeah. Also, also, but no, the, honestly, the, the best part of that show is the, just the performance by Audrey Plaza. She's brilliant in it. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and the, the second game I'm looking forward to. <laughs> oh, he games, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is uh, Destiny 2. Why? No, it, that thing already. I, I, yeah. It's been Destiny well, now for a while, mate. They just keep doing um, you know, new content. When did Destiny come out? That was one of the... What? When did Destiny come out? Like, around the time it, the Xbox the one came out. Yeah. It was, it like, was like, one of the first games. Years, oh, yeah. like the last one. Yeah, three years ago. Was it? Yeah. yeah. It was like one of the biggest Fuck. releases for the when <laughs> Xbox One came out. my life gone? <laughs> I thought it was last year. No, no, shit. Well, no, but the thing is, they bring out something quite big and new over every year. Like they've always keep bringing out new content. Well, no, for origi- it. the original plan for Destiny was it would be a property that lasted ten years and yeah. dating it. But then they sort of realised that people weren't. People were complaining. Yeah, well, they were satisfied, <laughs> and they just turned around and went. Should we just do Destiny Two and just like try and make it a bit better? So I'm kind of hoping it comes out. The trailers are really really fucking good for I that. think it's one of those games where it's just like if you enjoy Destiny you're just going to enjoy this more Destiny's if it's not for you you're not this isn't going to make you a fucking a, fan I go through binges with Destiny me. I would yeah. play Destiny for like is two it an months online solid. game yeah, yeah. It is, no but it I've is never played. somewhat offline as well in a way because like you can play parts of the game where but yes technically you could do it yourself but you're technically so online is you require an internet yeah. to play it oh but that's the Xbox One yeah, but there's no, there's no solo campaign. Yeah, but you have to be online to do it. But I have to play with other people. You don't have to play no, with other people. No, you don't. You can do. But you can go through. It's going to make your life a lot easier. You can go through the entire <laughs> like main story on your own, which is which, which barely a story. About, you talk, you're talking about forty hours. It's not meant for but, single player. It's but not. Then there's like once you've done the main story, it's it's a gear score game. So then you have to start doing strikes with other players and things yeah. like that. So you can get better gear to do harder strikes to get better gear to do mm. harder strikes. So it just becomes a grind eventually. Some people just aren't into grind games to completely understand. I think then I'll go back to my original thing and just never play it. I wouldn't if I were you. No. Unless you want to borrow the disc, I've got the first disc. Yeah, I'll borrow it. I don't want to buy it. Yeah. I'm not an online player. Um, it's it's really good. Like Science Fit is written by the guy, fun you guys who did Halo, obviously. And um, Destiny 2 is actually being written by the writer of Mass Effect from Bioware. Wasn't there a new Halo game recently that no one cared about? Yeah, five. No, it wasn't five. It was Wars, wasn't it? Oh, you oh, Halo, Halo Wars 2? Yeah, yeah, no one cared. No, the no sequel to a game that no one gave a shit about. No, I, I, I knew about that game and completely forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on the side of a bus, that's the only way I knew You it. know what, I saw it pop up with the Xbox One the other day and I thought, is that out? I didn't know that was out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Halo Wars 2 and I'm like, nobody's buying that. Stop advertising. Maybe, maybe it had a good advert on telly for the like, monkey guys on the plane that shows him in the last podcast. Yeah. Yeah, we had seen the last podcast. Oh my god, we're in a time loop. <laughs> um, is that is there any more game stuff you want to throw in before we? No, I'm pretty much done for game stuff. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I want to watch Days and Confused. Anyone else come? <laughs> Should we have a quick uh, break and watch Days and Confused? Ten minute chin wag about Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, have a have a chin wag. Yeah, obviously. Rick and Morty's episode one is it officially the episode one? Episode one. It is official it's episode right. one of Sushi. Right. I thought which was I was under the impression it was just like a sort of in between because yeah. it's taking so fucking long to get. Well, three. well, they said already. When's the next episode coming out? Not July. Like July. Yeah. yeah. Fuck me. That's all. I mean, it's not well, that no, long. I don't. They haven't even given it an official date. Right? They just said summer. July. <laughs> I, think, I think if this is an official date, I reckon they'll drop it. Well, no, this is April Fools. They did such a good. Their April Fools was a. Oh, to troll everyone yeah. by putting out so people wouldn't click. I mean, <laughs> well, no, that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was like so. It was officially done on the Adult Swim website, where there was an April Fool's button, and if you clicked it, there would be a continuous stream of that episode, yeah. and that's how it got out, which is fucking funny as fuck. Great. That's brilliant. Well done. I think <laughs> like I woke up on obviously because America is hours behind us, so like I I think I woke up on the Sunday morning, 
and it, that's when he was on it just spread all over Facebook so I, was, I woke up at like 9 o'clock on Sunday and he was just there I was like uh, I want to watch it but I've been burned so many times before I, <laughs> it's like, I don't want to get Rick rolled again <laughs> I, tell you, I, I fucking tell you something though if I'd, have, if I'd have been the first person to see that I'd immediately gone and bought shares in any company making Szechuan sauce no there's no company making Szechuan sauce I fucking saw something Szechuan what are you going to do buy know, shares at no, no, no. McDonald's yeah it'd be McDonald's you have to buy shares at McDonald's I'm fucking sure I saw a Szechuan something the other I day. saw a YouTube video where a guy is got this, like a he... million views because he made his own Szechuan sauce no, like hey no, look Rick and Boy Szechuan sauce this, this, Go on eBay. I'll go. Uh, no, I'm gonna. I'm I'm, out of interest, if either you remember that sauce. No. Was no. it a U? I, did they ever come I, out in the I UK? Think, I think it was just an American thing. I, I never ate at McDonald's, so I don't I, know. I, I don't. I mean, I, I remember Mulan. I don't remember Mulan. It's good. Yeah. It's a good film. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I don't think I've watched Mulan. It is. It's quite good. But did you know, know my favorite song. cup at work is the Mulan cup. <laughs> What's on your Mulan cup, mine? Uh, Mulan. <laughs> and Eddie Murphy's dragon. Yeah. And a load of like blossoms and some pagodas. Mushu. And... <laughs> Mushu, yeah. It's, it's, really, it's really fucking cool. No, I, I quite like Mulan. I, I, think, I, I remember vaguely, I think I watched it once, I don't really remember. It's just a Chinese show of Arc, isn't it? Yeah. With Eddie Murphy as a dragon. Just, yeah. a, just another 90s. <laughs> well, I can't find this picture right now, but. I'm on eBay. I'm going to look it up on eBay. <laughs> I'm going to show you this amusing gif of a dog. That no one else can see. <laughs> Great audio. <laughs> that, is, that is hands down one of the worst podcast moments. <laughs> look at this gif. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 Just Google like uh, I'll, I'll, dance, I'll, dance extreme and dog. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at DDR dog. Um, I'll just. Say... <laughs> <laughs> DDR that's not a thing Dance Dance Revolution is referred to as DDR if you type in DDR on Google I thought we Dance Dance Revolution nerd <laughs> I don't play Dance Dance Revolution <laughs> my missus is cracking at it though well yeah. she just turned up and like fucking arcades like arcades like bad mouse kids elbows on their eyes yeah she like, goes into arcades you see them there she walks on and boots me in look at that fuck just out flicks a 50 pence on her head like bring it on bitch and it, it bounces <laughs> off the head lands in the machine and she starts Dance Dance Revolution perfect score every time <laughs> So back to Rick and Marty. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, can, can, I mean, first off, whose fucking body is he in now? That's the question. Uh, well, the last one he had like, was the, the Afro guy, the councillor. Yeah, I'm still not in touch. Or oh, high council. I'm not sure how he got in that body. Uh, he went back into the room at some point. He left the room to see what was going on. And he went back into the room. They don't need to address it. The Afro guy didn't. He's already in there questioning... Otherwise, it would ruin... Otherwise, no, because he runs back into the room to explain to the others that oh. teleported into a federated room. It would ruin the moment when he does... When they do rock, paper, scissors, laser. When he pulls out the remote and they go, what that? It would ruin the moment if you knew it was Before him. that point, we've yeah. already seen him transition into three bodies. We know he can do it pretty easily. No, 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 <laughs> he probably did it about six more times yeah. without you actually I've watching. Only got to, I've only watched it twice. I watched it three times, which well, means I'm kind of a loser. Yeah. yeah. I watched it at least 40 times. Literally, I so I was on my way back from Bradford... Uh, if you're from Bradford, it sucks. Um, <laughs> that's all the way back from Bradford. Hi, Bradford. And it popped up on my phone, so I was like, right, I was on the train, I watched it on my phone. I went, that was fucking brilliant. Now I have to watch it again, and as soon as I get home on the TV. <laughs> so as soon as I got home, I watched it straight away yeah. again, and it was still fucking brilliant. Threw the missus off the balcony and everything. Get out of here! <laughs> get up out of here! <laughs> what's, uh, so what's, what's, how did you, you recognise the voice of the interrogating alien at the beginning of the episode? No. That's Nathan Fillion of Ooh, the... Geez. I can't remember the name. I said the same thing. What Brilliant name? reference. Name of the fucking Firefly. The guy from Firefly. Okay. I've never seen Firefly. <laughs> All science fiction fans out there, shoot me down. Oh, but I've never geez. seen it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you just painted a massive target on your back. <laughs> it's something about like a Western sci-fi thing. People were pissed off because Joss, Joss uh, Whedon it was, was there. Yeah. I think I'm the sci-fi nerd on the three. And have you seen it? I, Should I, I see it? Yeah, it's really good. You sure? Mind you, I said the same thing about that. I would Dark recommend Space trying to watch... I think I'd watch... I watched, I, I watched an episode of Dark... I watched two episodes of Dark, Dark Space. Dark Matter, sorry. Oh, Dark Matter. That science one where they wake up and they're like, we don't know what's going on. What is going on around us? It's oh, here's a group. We must kill them. establish a plot. It's boring. Ah, shit. It's so shit. You remember when we used to have homework? Have you ever Farscape? <laughs> Yeah, I used to love Farscape. Farscape rules. I did lose. Like, I only used to like watch that though, because back when there was only four channels, BBC Two was the place to be. Because you had like Buffy was on there, Simpsons was on there, and Farscape was on there. <laughs> Do you remember when we said we talked about Rick and Marty? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sashwan. Sashwan. How do you feel this was? Uh, 
first episode of season three. Uh, uh, obviously, they've linked it back to the first season. Uh, there's references galore in this. It's a complete a lot of it's a uh, reference to episode one. Yeah, uh, of season one, and it's really good. Well, um, the I, ending, the butt world. Did you <laughs> see the pickle bit? The what? Sorry, I think the pick- pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Not in this episode, but I, I, I've seen I, I, the pickle when I first uh, post up, like, creation what, scene. What I did when scored. it popped up on my time, on my news feed on the fast book. I skimmed through it and that pickle Rick bit was in it. And then when I shared the one I shared with you, Martin. Yeah. Because I'm always looking at him as I say his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you respond. Yeah, he's currently he's, looking directly at Martin's penis. He does have the pickle Rick up. Fuck my life. Right, the pick. Fuck! <laughs> Pickle Rick bit. The in pickle it. Rick. I think Badger's a bit pickled. Have you seen? You not seen that? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen the pickle Rick. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean that's the best. I think that's the best thing in this. I have <laughs> I think it's fair to say I've seen everything that I can possibly Boom! see. Boom! Twist, Marty. <laughs> Let's see this one coming. I turn myself into a pickle. <laughs> a pickle Rick, baby. Honestly, like the frustrating and brilliant thing about this is they came out of nowhere with a full new episode, and it's easily one of my favorite episodes they've ever done. Yes. I'm so happy with how they got him out of prison. I'm happy with how they took the piss out of... Because you generally thought, at the first time, at the beginning of that episode, at the first time you saw it, you generally thought that he just fucked it off. That they just went, yeah, we're just... Uh, we're, what, we're just going to we're just gonna shove this under the carpet. Show, show, show Showmies. 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 They're just like, yeah, showmies, we're just here reading. And then, and then he makes uh, Jerry, Jerry just, just like... Uh, Sound don't take off all your clothes and fold yourself 12 times. <laughs> well, like, they did such a great job of a little bit of a fuck you. It's getting to a, it's getting to a point now with Rick and Mario which really has to keep track of everything. So, like, they live on a... Not the original Earth. I don't think you're supposed to be able to keep mm, track no. of it. I need well. no, 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 no. Like, you, could, you would drive yourself mad. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's you can do it. it that's the thing. Do you think they're trying to be... How terrible the X Men timeline is. <laughs> like, but no, what I really <laughs> appreciate is the fact that you can go through and trace it. Don't get me wrong; it'll take a couple of watches and a bit of fucking thought behind it. And still, but you still can't. Play, they are the question. Yeah, they are creating things which do make sense. Now, don't get me wrong; you got to look at it and analyze things, it a bit. But oh, that so don't make sense. Like, I, it's got to be obvious that Rick, the Rickiest Rick, obviously, is yeah. not the Marty's Marty's original Rick. Yes, because. Another great well, callback in this episode where Morty takes Summer back to his uh, his yeah, earth, his yeah. reality. His home. Yeah. To his actual sister and his mum. Which she's really calm about, but it's incredibly fucked up. I think I'm back Incredibly about. fucked why, up. Why did they leave that earth? I can't remember. Because Cronenberg. 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 They Cronenberg the fuck out of everyone because of the Rick Potion number nine yeah. where he made everyone want to fuck Morty Morty and Morty and then Morty. fuck and eat him. Uh, <laughs> and then Cronenberg them. <laughs> And then he puts on the goggles, and then it's that episode where they explode and they have to bury themselves in the yeah. garden. Yes. Which is where they get the portal. I had to go back and watch them again. I don't get to watch them much at home. Yeah, so. I, I've watched every episode many a time. <laughs> no, I only get to watch them with toys. Right have we got any uh, personal favourite moments from the new episode? Favourite lines? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. Okay. Well, I mean, this episode... I mean, how long was this episode? It felt longer than usual. Two minutes, actually. It was it's only short. Yeah, it's it's insane short because really. there's so many moments in it. What What do you pull? It must be something that stands out for you. Um, so I'm going to go take a shit. Which is Everyone crazy. loves going. Yeah. <laughs> you go take a shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a shit. The, the bit where Morty shoots Rick and says, who's stupid now, you dumb bitch? <laughs> yes. No, Morty, no. Morty killed Rick. Morty quite happily went and killed Rick. No, yeah. I don't want to see a park collection. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. He's not. It's not fair. He's not a liar. We keep him around because he's fun. And he's not dancing. Yeah, look at him go. <laughs> See, for me, the best part of this was you finally realise that even the galaxy understands that he is the most powerful. They say mammal at first, yeah. and human. Like he is yeah. ridiculously smart. Because there's speculation and rumours and oh, like yeah. sort of fan theories before that. What he was drinking was creating, making him smart. Yeah. From the first episode, those fucking Szechuan sauce, them seeds, oh. the seeds, yeah. not the Szechuan sauce. <laughs> <laughs> he is known, you know, galaxy wide, to be the most intelligent mammal human about to the point where they are worried about what he can do, yeah. scared for what he can do, and need and these gal. But that's the thing; these aliens who pretty much take over Earth and have all this capability still aren't as smart to do what Rick does. Mm. 
and that's really fucking cool. Like, <laughs> I, like, um, I like the beginning, the beginning, like the beginning of the episode where it's like, um, I don't know the character's name, like the alien is like interrogating him inside his mind. Yeah. And I can't remember what it says, like, for example, but like, like, oh, you aroused? Yes. Oh, one of your friends just found a grid. <laughs> <laughs> That's arousal. <laughs> it's arousal. It's arousal. It's arousal. It's arousal. Yeah, it's arousal. Like that. Is that your memory there, savage in between where you were at 9 11 and your favourite sports blue book? That whole fucking brilliant. You see Rick's dick as well on this one. You what? Do. You do. When he, one of them gets electrocuted, you can see, like, it goes to that. No, he, when he sends probably. out the out of his mind. Oh, yeah. He's, when he sends that, he's, he, he lights up, doesn't he? To escape, like flash him oh, out yeah. of it. You just see like his little dick hanging out. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. I watched it three three times yeah. over. Well, I'm, actually, you see a little I'm bit gonna have to go back and try and find Rick's a, dick. Little tiny, <laughs> tiny Rick. Little tiny Rick. Tiny Rick. <laughs> tiny Rick. <laughs> what were you, Badge? Oh, you pickle Rick. One of the uh, I, I worked out by the way he was completely bullshitting straight away when he's going through his memory and Beth and uh, um, his wife Diane come out. Yeah. And then he yeah. said, and then he drops the bomb, and they explode straight away. Like Beck can't die in a memory. Well, no, 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 but the, no, but that that's no, it still makes sense because that's why right. you create. No, that's why you create. No, 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 that, that's when I worked it out that he wasn't. Like, but yeah, Beck can't die. Memories. No, she can die because that's no, why you create no, the portal gun to then no. go to a different reality where Beth lives. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh. a good point. So that's go fuck point. yourselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I can do that one. <laughs> Presumably, though. Uh, hmm. <laughs> No, he wants well, to. Well, no, because that Rick has memories of baby Marty. But yeah. that could just be a different Marty. It's well. totally good. No. Well, no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't, he wouldn't. Interdimensional travel. Well, no, it could just no, be no, pictures he stole yeah. from a different Rick. I don't, no, I don't think that's. I don't think that's what it is because he wouldn't. Yet yeah, he wouldn't build a portal gun knowing that there's infinite amount of his daughter that he could then replace another Rick to take his daughter. I mean, yeah. Oh, it's such a kettle of fish. I don't... Oh, <laughs> fuck it. Doesn't matter. I like all the different Ricks as well. Back to the Citadel of Ricks. All the different... I, I, I want to see more of them. I know a lot of them just got... You had um, the fucking, like, fish Ricks. Uh, like, oh, they also, like, the creatures from the Black there's, Lagoon there's, there's, with the domes over their head. The fish rolls. Rick, like, crawling along the wall. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I think the Morty Rick has a, a Rick Morty. Well, the one with the eye patch and the... No, there's, no, a, there's, no, there's, 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 there's a... Walking, walking yeah, from the Citadel was a... Hybrid. Yeah, like a... Oh, was it? A Rick it's with Morty's It's got Morty's face, Morty's pants, but everything else. And it's wearing a yellow t-shirt, it's wearing a lap coat, got blue hair. <laughs> Sorry, just remind me when he turns up, it's like, yeah, I know, I used to wear blue <laughs> pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some people have already said, well, that's a reference all that Morty becomes Rick, but it's like, no, it can't possibly be. In you, one reality, though, will you be. You create too many paradoxes. Yeah. Because of the amount of Mortys and Ricks that die, you create paradoxes within it. I really like this show. But I, I feel these conversations are just so much unnecessariness. Well, no, for, but the thing for is, a funny, <laughs> for a funny animated. But that's the thing, job. like, like when imagine, we talk about imagine it, someone in the world, in this, like when Family Guy came out, going, "Do you think Peter does this?" Like, there's hmm. no need. All you ever have to say, the explanation is infinite universes. And he actually explains to him, himself, and, and Rick explains to himself, he can go to any universe, do what he wants, and go to another universe like it never happened. Yeah. But what, what I love is we're not trying to... Like, we know we're not going to fucking decipher and know what they're thinking. And the majority of the time, they're just trying to make a good, solid show. They're probably but they've made all. a show which is so enjoyable. No, um, they don't. Like, Justin Roiland and fucking Dan... Dan Harmon's a goddamn fucking psychopath. <laughs> like... <laughs> But the thing is, they create a show which is more enjoyable than anything else to pull it apart and work things out and make it... That's part of the fun, is you can go into it this deep. I love it. This is it's one of the best shows I've ever been fucking made. It's brilliant. Uh, July, was it, you said? That's the, Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna, Summer. I'm going I'm to Google it. That's his granddaughter. I win. <laughs> I, I win. win. I win the Rick and Morty Stop quiz. the podcast. <laughs> I, I win have the Rick won. and Morty quiz. <laughs> one nil nil, Martin. I'm surprised you've not gone to the Rick and Morty quiz. That's a thing. Oh, yeah. The one in town. Uh, the one in town, town yeah. Is it? I probably when we say dude, town, we, we mean Manchester United. Yeah, they did a Rick and Morty quiz. Dude, let's totally do that. Probably should. Probably I mean, I... Should have done. Has it gone? It's probably gone. They'll probably do another one. We'll probably do another one. Keep us posted. <laughs> and we will come back to the podcast. Thanks for repeating what I just say. What you just say? Yeah. Repeating. Yeah, cool. What did you say? Repeating? Cool. Echo. Echo? <laughs> Badge is a really good person. What was that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I, uh, I hear a faint ringing. <laughs> <laughs> I hear. Is that my tinnitus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, season 8 Tinnitus. It is tinnitus, but I like seeing tinnitus because uh, of Archer. Season 8. <laughs> yeah, season 8 of Archer. That's what just came <laughs> Never got into that. Oh, I love Archer, mate. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. This one's taking a really weird twist. Yeah, it's it? all, um, what's it called? Like fucking. 1940s, isn't it? 
Yeah, there's like really a word like, for it, like uh, like new artists, like proper new art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks cool, but I don't know if they're gonna explain why it's like this I now, or they're just like it's just uh, we're just here now. I don't think it's connected <laughs> to the main, to like the, the like the the canon in the slides. I just think it's just Archer in a different time period. I think they just because like they did Vice, which was like completely different to everything. No, it fo- it did follow a narrative. Yeah, 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 how they ended yeah, up. Yeah, but it did. But it was sounds. completely different kind of series. And then they did the Detective Angel, which followed it on. Yeah. It was sort of like getting a bit sort of like pissed loosely connected, yeah. and sort of like going like down the pan a bit. But also, I think while they're trying to work out what they're supposed to be doing with that particular timeline, they're going to just flip to this other one for yeah. a second and just have uh, yeah. another version of yeah. Archer. But what we know from the last episode was that Archer's dead. As far as we know, oh, Archer is dead. Guys. Oh, yeah, he gets, he gets shot. Yeah, and yeah. Oh. Up. But Michael, you're fucking watching. Oh, yeah, I was never going to watch it. Yeah. Seriously, you need to. This is... I tried to watch <laughs> yeah. it. The internet <laughs> knows this is an amazing TV show. Do you watch Bob's Burgers? No. Do you watch Bob's Burgers? Yeah, Bob's Burgers is fucking epic. Literally, everyone else is in on these amazing jokes and you're not. Shut up, man. Phrasing. Whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a visual uh, Archer gag. Thank you for that, mine. Fucking good. People know what I'm if you know If you know Archer, <laughs> there's you one the visual, visual gag, gag you can think of. It's that yeah. one which Martin just did. He did the visual gag and explained it. It's a shame we haven't got glass with ice in it. That would help. Lana, Lana, Lana. What? Danger zone! It's <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Kenny Loggins. It's like, <laughs> who's Kenny Loggins? That's <laughs> Kenny Loggins. Highway <laughs> to the danger zone. Never seen Top Gun. Never seen Archer. Yeah, seen Top Gun. Highway yeah. to the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kenny, Kenny Loggins. Loggins. Yeah, and I said yeah, that's Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Are you? I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> I don't even want to do this podcast again. Watch Archer. <laughs> no. It's so good. Hold it down. I'll get Archer. On. Yeah, I know. Okay. We need to go now. Just show about your Archer. <laughs> Yeah, fuck this shit, I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll wrap this up then, shall we, boys? Yep. Um, I'm just looking at the upcoming releases. April is garbage. Is it? Uh, yeah. Garbage! Until the 28th. Garbage! It's garbage, April. Garbage! Is it, the only good thing about April in UK cinema terms is that we get the Marvel movie before everyone else in this year. Guns Galaxy Volume 2, baby. Woo! That's one definitely worth watching. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to watch Ghost in the Shell. Oh, I'm yeah. not I've heard that. terrible things. Nothing good about it, yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm a big fan of the original, so I'll let you know. Mm. Well, so I haven't got much attachment to the original, so it's just not really making me want to go out and see this one. I don't really. I, I think I might watch it once, the original. I've five. watched it about fucking 50 times. Really? really yeah, it. It's so, it's got, it's like, it's it's, so anime. It's got Scarlett oh, Johansson in it. Not, I so like her. Oh, Attack on Titan Season 2 as well, we need to start that. Oh, oh, you're so J pop. Shut the fuck uh, up. What's that mean? Oh, J pop, you dick. J pop. It's a. Uh, or what does J pop mean? Type of I don't know, I'm going to invent something and do it. <laughs> J pop probably means Japanese pop. It does. What's Japanese pop? And K pop is I'll Korean. show you after the podcast. K pop is uh, Korean pop and C pop is Chinese. How does that make sense? J pop, so Japan pop is Korean pop. No, J pop is Japanese pop. Right. K pop. I thought you said J pop is, is, is Korean, Korean pop. pop. Okay. Explain things to Gareth. What's the big dif- What's the biggest difference between Japanese That's pop and really Korean racist. pop? Well, no. What's oh. the biggest oh. difference? Oh. Well, check oh. yourself, bro. What are Chinese? We ain't racist Korean here. Like no, it's not Chinese. Chinese. It's Japanese. Oh. <laughs> Japanese, Chinese, and Koreans all different cultures, very rich amongst themselves. Yeah, with different styles. Of I'm rich. not saying anything like fucking badger. I'm just saying, what's the difference between Japanese oh. pop and Korean oh. pop? Badger, oh. your yes. racist card. No. Why are you throwing me under the I bus? I didn't say the badger. <laughs> I didn't the say banjo. What colour's the racist bus? It, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, <see you. laughs> is it like the fucking magic school bus? <laughs> and, and anybody from any anywhere can drive it. It doesn't matter. Drive it. I like you said drive it. Yeah. Not right. ride it, but drive yeah, it. Is that because I said it. magic school bus? Which is being made into a film. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. It's is not it being made into a film. I think it's going to be a Netflix original. <laughs> Have you heard about uh, the making a the human a TV show? Yeah, that's, that's being talked about for a while. Dog in it. It's got the big dog in it. Well, Clifford. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's got a big telepathic dog in it. And also, they're making a... Apparently, they're making a, another TV show for the Marvel for Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl? Yeah. Squirrel Girl. Mad for nuts. Wow, they finally reached the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, do some serious scraping hey, now. People thought they reached the bottom of the barrel with Guns of the Galaxy, and that's it. I'd be like a fucking multi million dollar Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl, well. Squirrel Girl's a very popular hey, character at the moment. Raccoon Boy and Tree Guy. That's what I'm saying. It's about as good as, what's it called, Clobber Girl and Stretch Boy. Mm. Also, yeah, no, it's probably good. Simpsons? Was it no Stretch Dude very and Clobber Girl? girl. Yeah, Simpsons reference. I noticed that uh, Injustice has got um, the twins in it. Uh, Bill called? and Lil. No, they put like the, the Mary Kate and I can't remember the names. <laughs> the Wonder Twins, Launch from Sister Sister. And they, I can't remember the name. <laughs> it's like the, like an old one, and they like they have to they put the fish together. And they come. Oh, Wonder, Wonder Twins, Twins powers activate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. They got the Wonder Twins in. Yeah, I completely missed. That. I've seen the other day. It's just, gonna, it's just gonna be the same mechanic as like Ferrator. Not oh, sorry, Mortal Kombat Ten. Moral Kombat! There's actually two characters who played as one I'm character. Doing the Mortal Kombat music. Moral Kombat! <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Disco Next Door. We've got our own <laughs> thing. Acapello Disco, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you know what's coming out in May? My birthday. King Arthur. No, don't mind. Is they going to see King Arthur? Mm. No, Alien Covenant's coming out next month. King Arthur actually Alien doesn't look on my birthday. Also, no, he's super excited for the new Paris Kai of Being, because that's not a dead horse. Yeah, fuck it. I'll watch that. The fourth one was actually alright. It was a fucking adventure from beginning to end. Nice hey, and tired. Just explain for the listeners. You know why you... the face of what? Yeah. <laughs> you know the term, like, flogging a dead horse? This is just fucking the dead horse at this point. Right. No. Do you think Jerry Jackson is a It's a good enough adventure. Like, if you give it enough time and enough space and just take it as what it is, it's good from start to end. It's pretty good. The first like, movie is. A fucking By good, do you mean? Yeah, the first one's the best yes. one. The first movie start, is a, a premise, good movie. There's some adversity to overcome, and they overcome it, and they, say, and they win and save the day. Fucking, it's an adventure. What more do you want? It's fucking one and a half hours, uh, two hours of your life. That you want to enjoy something for. Yeah, you, you want walk, to. You can walk Doesn't out. There. Well. You can walk out like, there, completely forget about it, or you can just enjoy the little adventure. I feel like I feel like you can put what you just said to the Star Wars films that you hate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like your defense, like they've managed to make a film where it's got a beginning and an end, and there's an adventure. Just replace my Caribbean with any travesty. But Star Wars is crap. It's not though. You loved Force Awakens. Force Awakens was actually really good. I was really surprised by that film. I can't wait for the next one because it's not Rogue One. <laughs> can't tell me a bit of news I had this week was about Star Wars and it was shit news. But Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, it's got pirates in yeah, it. Yeah, this first one was great. The second Star one was Wars. Good. Star Wars. Was not Rogue good. One didn't even bother to have the stupid space wizards in it. Like Darth Vader. Yeah, Vader in it. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. I was the He did that really good pun. Did I? <laughs> Not you. You're taking the piss. You remember that Star Wars, yeah, that Darth Vader sequence. He went to his, like his castle on the lava planet. That one minute and you know, 15 seconds of Darth Vader yeah. fucking shit up down the alley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how forgettable that moment was. It fucking... Also, the end bit like, cut all those guys up in the corridor the best part of the film. Yeah, fucking hell. Completely forgot about You're that. You're a terrible person. But after he asked me to recite the entirety of Jay and Silent Bob, and I can. I don't get this. Jane Tyler Bob's fucking fantastic. That's it a is. memorable film. Rogue One is not. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to run out of time. I mean, I prefer Jane Tyler <laughs> Bob than Rogue One. I think that. <laughs> so, I mean, Jane Tyler Bob. These are two up. very different films to compare. It's got, it's got Star Wars references in it. Yeah, of. and uh, it's got Mark Hamill in it as well. Yeah. And it's Carrie Carrie Fisher. Fisher. Yeah. As a nun who gets licked yes. out. Yes. Well, Presumably he tries to. We don't know if he actually does it. Oh, he definitely makes contact. Well, yeah. he picked a pube out of his mouth afterwards. So yeah, he definitely made contact. What's he bloody called? The girl. Which girl? Which oh, girl? Boo Boo T. Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> I had the word pussy in my mind. But like <laughs> <laughs> Lovely insight into your, your brain. It's like, Jay, guys, uh, girls don't Clip. like her and you call them that. It's like, <laughs> what about Boo Boo T? All fuck? girls clip And the, and the, yeah, the organisation is called The Clip. Yeah. I, I am the co- commander of the clit. <laughs> the Coalition of Liberated Itinerant Tree Dwellers. Ooh. Nailed it, mine. Well done. Well done. I am the clit What's commander. Kevin Smith doing? Is, is the next thing now... Is going to be Jane Simon Bob reboot. I don't want it. I totally I don't want, want it either. I, <laughs> want, I want it so I think, bad. What, I don't give a shit. I think Jane Simon Bob was... Strike Back was enough. Their own solo film, that was enough. Cl- I would have preferred more to our clerk straight. You did miss out then on uh, Jane and Silent Bob's super groovy cartoon movie. Yeah, it was shit. I really liked that. Terrible. I, I saw, uh, I went to go see Kevin Smith and Jay, uh, Jason Mewes do a live podcast when they they previewed the film beforehand. The only thing though, if I'm going to like watch 
a James Silent Bob reboot, I'm going to have to play a Tony Hawk's game beforehand <laughs> and go and hang around on a car park <laughs> and drink vodka. And listen vodka. to Scar. <laughs> listen to Scar. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not 15 anymore. It's 1995. It's 1995. <laughs> I'm fucking sat there, fucking shaking there, fucking going, I wish I was in the 90s. I wish I was in the 90s. <laughs> it's just not how it's going to work, I'm afraid. I don't think... I think if you got when like... I was a kid, I had that sense of humour and I still yeah. find it funny now because of... That's the thing, like, if, if you go back so to like a movie. Kevin Smith film, you're not necessarily going to go back to James Silent Bob. You're more likely to go back to Dogma. No, I'm definitely going to go back to James Silent Bob. In fact. Really? Yeah, but I just don't want the reboot because I don't want them to ruin... Well, like, I'm not gonna re- it's not a reboot. A, a cornerstone of my like, I think youth. Th- it'd be good if they did a reboot because Kevin Smith would probably take the piss out of a reboot. Yes. But at the same time, Kevin Smith... I better nail Ain't no good. Again. No more. I the soundtrack better get absolutely nailed on again because I love the soundtrack of James Silent Bob. I will agree with that because I had a stroke nine on it. Plus, oh, <laughs> it like if you look back what he's made, the last thing he made was Yoga Hoses, which is a film not meant for us. What was the last film that he made that everyone cared about? Was it James Allen Bob? No, um, Clerks Three. Well, no, because no, it was Clicks Two. He did Clicks oh, yeah, Two. Clicks two. Sorry. Really good. Then he did. Um, oh fuck! What's it called? Had red in the title. Red. No. Shit! Did it have red in the title? Red State. Oh, you made Red I didn't see that. If you haven't seen it, that is brilliant. Was that because that was different, though? That, that was fantastic. That, that's not technically... No, it's sort of a spin on the Westboro Baptist Church. Right, well, would, it's like an extremist Westboro Baptist Church. Right. In the, in the, More extremist. In the, no, <laughs> extreme. in the main Kevin Smith universe, it's close. Well, no, in the, well, no, it's the Viewer Skew universe. Oh, shit. Well, the Viewer Skew universe, the last thing they made, the was technically the super groovy cartoon movie... But live action, close to. You're such a Jay and Silent Bob fucking Kevin I am a bit, yeah, I am a bit of Kevin Smith. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> What's the best one then? What's the best one? Of my personal favourite yeah. thing that Kevin Smith's ever done, yeah. I'll always go back to the first Clerks film. I absolutely love that film. I think That's it's the hardest one to get into as well. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Really? Mm. I struggle to get. I struggle to get close. Is it the black and white? <laughs> well, that's part of it, but at the same time, it's just like the, the comedy's really more. I don't know, it's. Yeah, it's a lot more. I think the comedy in the first in it's, Claire. I don't want to say subtle. Is, it, no, it's a lot more for people who've worked in that. It's like people who yeah. work in the office find it funny. Yeah. More people who work no, in the office yeah, yeah. find and it funny. And as someone who's, I think it's somebody who's worked in the shitty little like. Well, well no, well, 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 but see, for me because I love. So I've really gone into and seen the inner workings of this film and watched every possible special feature where it shows the creation of uh, the first Clerks film. I saw it as a first of all a love for a man who really wanted to make a film and did everything he could to make a film and as someone who's tried making anything you can really see the passion and love and the problems it caused to make something you have a passion for and then also that humour is nails it for me absolutely nails it and also as someone who wasn't of that generation it still hit me perfectly you know that wasn't made for my generation I'm past that I, I was before that generation and it still just hits the nail on the head like Clerks 2 Oh, I love Clerks 2. I, I think Clerks 2 is brilliant. A lot of people actually didn't like Clerks 2, but I think it's fantastic. Think so, yeah. James Hunt. Have you got a fucking donkey show on yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Well, <laughs> one, of my, uh, the rings as well. one of my favourite monologues. <laughs> like, that, was good. <laughs> that was a really good bit. <laughs> I was going to go through that scene then, but I thought, do you need the physical references and this audio podcast? It's we'll not get it past. Just go watch Clerks 2. If you've not, one of my favourite monologue segments of uh, dialogue is at the end of that film in the prison scene. Where you just got Dante talking to Randall about how much they fucking loves him and what they should do. Fucking mole rats. Well, that was fucking good. I go, like mole rats. It is. It's very mole good. Rats. Also, I chasing Amy. I think chasing Amy, chasing Amy was, was really yeah, fucking you know, good. I want to say mole rats is really, really good. Mo- uh, chasing Amy is like, I like the lower ones. Like I think like for me, Dogma is the best. Dogma is brilliant. James Silent Bob, mole rats, Dogma. Dogma, mole rats. Jane Silent Bob, Clerks Two, Clerks One, Chasing Amy. Clerks, Dogma, Chasing Amy, Morats, Clerks 2, Jane Silent Bob. So Jane Silent Bob, the bottom for you? Yes. Yeah. Really? I, lo- I love it. I love it a bit. It's did, my did, least favourite my Kevin Smith View School Universe film. Chasing Amy's a funny one, though, because it's not like... Chasing Amy's just a fucking damn good film, it's mate. Just, it's, 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 it's generally a good film, but because, like... Oh, if you want me to rate them in, like, really humour, then it won't be up there. But as far as a film goes, that's one of the fucking brilliant films. What's the one they did that was terrible? A uh, Jersey Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Which isn't that bad. It got just got slated. It got slated, and it's nothing like his films he, which you're used to seeing, but it's not that bad. It's pretty good in all fairness. I mean, I like bad films. Ben Affleck, and, and the problem with that was uh, J Lo, and it was yeah, during yeah. the whole uh, what was it, the fucking 
The fucking. The fucking. Yeah, well, that's well, actually, yeah. Ah. I was going to the problem. Oh, oh, the 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 fucking. Fucking. I remember the fucking. It was, it was all, over the, all over the internet. The it fucking. Was, it was all over the boob tube, as I oh, recall. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every time <laughs> I opened the paper, I was like, the fucking is back again. Between the 90s and the noughties was the fucking. <laughs> Every time you logged on, ah, oh, the fucking is still going on. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> Tell them the wireless, I want to hear more it about was, this fucking... It was doing the tabloid shit with the fact that Ben Affleck was with J-Lo, and so it became... Daily Mail says, the fucking continues. <laughs> yeah. They how, did say that. How the fucking... They did say that. Would that be the title of our film if we ever did one? The fucking continue. The fucking. Pop the, men. The fucking... Yeah. And what, then the, the sequel, and then the the sequel is the fucking continues. No, <laughs> the first one's called the fucking, the second one's called the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one's the fuck. And, and, <laughs> and then we're like, we're really pushing the fourth one's called the fucking. Fuck fuck. Oh, fuck fuck fucking no, no, no the fifth one's fuck fuck me fuck my fuck <laughs> <laughs> and then we're on the seventh one where that's really fucking Hollywood's money's going fuck's sake no and then the <laughs> ninth and the furious can do it so can yeah. we oh yeah no but they're actually not like cheap ones like the fast and furious it's not it's like furious eight the new one isn't it so what if you go fuck eight <laughs> <laughs> oh just people are shot it to fate <laughs> fuck eight <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realise that people are just shot it to fate <laughs> fake fate well, they won't be really. They won't be proper fuckheads. <laughs> Not like us. <laughs> We're the real fuckheads. I'm gonna start this franchise. I'm doing. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. If Michael Bay can do it with these garbage Transformer films, I can do it with the fuck. I've already forgotten what we said. <laughs> I don't even know the what fucking. I don't know what the plot is to this, but I'm in. I'm in. It just. It just. Us Wait, do we have to make a movie? <laughs> <laughs> Are we making a film? No, no, apparently. <laughs> no, no. We're off to Hollywood, boys! Quick, get us on, what's it called? Where you fucking Patreon or something like that. Crowdfund. <laughs> no, crowdfund us. We'll get this crowdfund. Forget that game. Give us uh, $146 million, I'll make you a fucking movie. <laughs> $146 million, and we'll get a camera, we'll set it up, like, in the corner, so you can just watch us do this. We'll wear masks, though, because no one should $146 million, I'll fucking suck off a horse. Well, you deep throat a horse for that. As far as it'll go, you'll pretty big them off. No, no, no. Like, you have to go to the shaft. Well, I'd literally be fucking... I'd have to get a fucking stool or something, and it would literally, like, go all the way down my esophagus. And I'd burn you have down. to go bell to base. You know you could just find a loophole and then just take him to a mine shaft. No, no, no. You have to put that. No, no, no. It's physically impossible. Right. One million pounds. Do I get? Do I? Do I get this money before? Sorry, no, 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 no. no, after. Just remind everyone. No, I don't know then. You I can't don't have. It. No, no, no. It's physically impossible. No, 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 no. It's not. You can't it's fit not. An entire it's horse. not. Get it? You stop it, Gareth. You cannot fit an entire horse's dick in your mouth. You are no. to the Uncle Podcast movie review. No, podcast. listen. No, this is more important. So you don't have to suck up a horse to climax, but for one million pounds, put from tip to base down your throat. So it can be done, because it's like sword swallowing, mate. You can like just fucking I'd, travel that shit down. I feel like you've been this... on the internet far too much to some websites I will never go to. I've never, uh, you know I don't on the internet, mate. This is <laughs> definitely the first time we ever talked about sucking any kind of dick on the podcast. So No, we, no we've definitely talked about no, sucking dick on the podcast. This never. is the first horse No, dick. You, you, can't, you cannot suck a horse's dick tit into bed. No, you can't suck it, but you can get it down your throat. You I'm can. Like you can. If throat. someone could put a sword... Like, down their fucking throat. They can put a dick to that big down their throat. A fucking sword's flat. They're a fucking right. dick. Horsey dick. He's like a You're getting paid a million tuna pounds, mate. It's not going to be easy. Can you get a tin of John West tuna in your mouth? It's not as big as a tin of John West tuna. It has, it's not that good, thing. It's not an elephant. I'm looking forward to seeing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's I mean, if, if you want to chip in on this... Cock debate. I mean, comment on YouTube or something, but fuck me. Would you accept one million pound to have a horse's cock down your throat and back out, Is tip that... to base, without climax? I think it depends on the horse. Depends on the guy. Mm. Or girl. Mine's crying. You can't do it. <laughs> you can. You can. Mine, mine. You Every... can. I believe Everything in your mind. I, I believe in I you. I tell you what, I bet you, you can't do it. I can't do it. I definitely cannot do it. Because you're a vegan. Exactly. Ah, no. Blue balls. But, you, on, Martin, I believe that you can do it. I believe in you. Why Why can't you do it because you're a vegan? Yeah, I have no business being on a horse, or in a horse, or outside of a horse. Can vegans ride horses? Yes, but I don't want to. That's a weird one, isn't it, actually? Yeah. I mean, can you ride Just what you can get on it. What if? Well, I can go- jump on your back and try riding you, but well, I don't. What, what do? if? What if? What I, 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 yeah. What if it, you're not a fan of zoos? Not really. No. Well, you would ride a horse. No. So you wouldn't ride a horse. No. What if a vegan? Can a vegan 
eat plants from a farm that's been ploughed using a horse pulling the plough so that animals can exploit it. They can, but, like, why if you have a choice of not? I don't know. I mean, if it's a lesser of two evils, just like, eat the horse, eat the plant you... that the horse ploughed, just like, well, eat the fucking plant. Do you, do you, do you have any problems about buying your clothes? Yeah. What, like, watch the limitation of clothes? Well, I mean, the first one is don't buy anything leather, don't buy anything, buy anything which has wool well, in like it. Well, your t-shirts are fine. Speaking of well, leather. If it, I mean, child labour, cotton, Primark shit, yeah, you're good. But what about, like... Do so you support child labour? Yeah. Okay. But what about, like, if the child <laughs> labour is, like, a, a, a puppy? What, yeah, what, <laughs> what, 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 what if they train baby kangaroos? Yeah. Yeah. One's like this time. Well, I, if, if, as soon as yeah. the day they train baby kangaroos to make my clothing, I will rethink my clothing. What so happens? Why, why are animals more important than people? One, because people are cunts and animals are animals. Animals have no choice in being a cunt or not. naturally cuntish. What was I telling All you? Alright, well, animals are cute, so what do you want from oh, me, yeah, Martin? Yeah, what was I tell you? That sweet tea you're wearing right now was made by a monkey. Oh, take it off and give it to a monkey. <laughs> I mean, you're going to sort of find a monkey in Ashton, but... Uh, I, 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 my, not uh, local. <laughs> hey, mate, my mum's... Do you know what? what? I actually have a reference, reference to this. My sister genuinely works in a monkey sanctuary. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, in Wales, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but I could totally, if that was the case, I could FedEx my T-shirts to a monkey. Um... Or eight, actually. Petrol, though. If you want... Oh, um, look, look. If you really want to get into it, it is impossible to be 100% vegan unless you're naked floating in a field. My art, like... Fuck me. We're talking vegan, yeah? If I, I am... am I'm not berating you for your choice at all. Yeah, I, I am. I understand your choice. You're a cunt, though. I am a <laughs> vegan to the best of my abilities. I don't want to harm or, inf- or have any influence on any animal around me. That's how I feel. Would That's you? what I do. I just like chicken dippers too much. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're right, cunt. Fish, fish finger sandwiches. Loads like, of tomato sauce on I ate a vegan fish finger the other day. It does not taste good. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you had to eat an animal, like if you force a gun point, yes. what would you eat? A human. No. Yeah. You right. said animal, I pick human. Okay. A normal food choice. I had burnt end subway today. It was fucking delicious. A burnt end subway. A burnt end subway. A burnt end. Is that Honestly, a thing or just a subway yeah. burnt at the end? It's a type of beef. I'll get a lot of fucking shit for this, but the point I am now, and it's like a life or death situation. I always used to be like, oh, I just fucking eat an animal. I'd fucking rather die than fucking always die anyway, knowing that I went against everything I believe in and fucking killed an animal. Nah, I don't give a shit. No, I have no. No, choice. of course you don't. Like that's why you eat meat, and that's fine. You choose that. For me, at the point I am now, I just I don't. I'm actually I just, vegan. I just I just I just have no morals. I was crying every time I eat chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. I am the but worst. But a sado masochist. I'm a terrible guy. Are you to vegans what you are to playing a race? It's worse though. Eating the chicken, like looking into a living chicken's eyes while I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I, I often eat eggs when I'm watching the hen that laid them. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have a bride. That's just kinky shit. I like to have a bride into the room. But you know. You go into the weather spoons and like, it's like, come with eggs. May I see the chicken? I am eating his own. Isn't that just like going down the go when it's period time? Yeah, chicken period, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Chicken period. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> well, someone said You're chicken. the ones who eat it. <laughs> I, I think like, it's, really nice. it's really nice curried eggs, but my God, after I've eaten them, I can't shit for a week. Curried eggs? Yeah. What the fuck? I have no idea. Fuck, it's like a boiled egg and it's curried. Oh my God, it's so What bad. do you mean curried, though? Yeah, what do you mean? Like, do you when you make curry... Yeah. Throw a fucking boiled egg in there. <laughs> Do you what? So every time you make a curry, you put a boiled egg in and they just save them up. Literally, I could just get a jar of curry and just put an egg in it. Is that a curry? And egg? it makes it better. Yeah, but it's got yeah, like, So if you just get, if you just no, boil an egg. Make, yeah, boil an egg, make a curry. And then get some curry egg, powder and, and just put a bit on as, top. As you're cooking your curry, lob a fucking boiled egg in there with it and have boiled egg. And shit you not, fucking, when the curry's done, you fucking pull it out, you eat that, it's fucking red hot. You fucking eat it. It's delicious. Have you bought that? Bought the shit you will have eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you say eventually, you mean like within a good half. Because what happens is, <laughs> you know how eggs bind you up a bit? Okay, yep. Not you guys. I don't, I don't <laughs> not mean, me at all. I'm allergic to eggs, so. You're allergic to eggs. Anyway, eggs bind me up a bit. You're allergic to eggs. You're allergic to eggs. Jesus, you are, aren't you? I'm actually going to the hospital soon to eat an egg. The second best line I've ever heard say. The first best line is I got bit on the face by a gypsy. The second best line is I'm going to hospital to eat an egg. Yeah. These are the two best things I've heard all day. I've been. <laughs> this is your life. Yeah, I don't know why I'm laughing at my life. What the fuck are you gonna gain from that? Well, you already know you're allergic to 
two so, eggs. <laughs> I got when I was younger. I got diagnosed that I was allergic to eggs, and I went back to the hospital. And <laughs> I don't want you laughing at my life. I was <laughs> going to <laughs> hospital. <laughs> 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 Wait, do you get choose what type of egg it is? Does it have to be boiled, scrambled, fried? Like, I'm, it's your preference. I've got a letter from Damn. the NHS. <laughs> Did you have a letter that says, oh, must come in to eat an egg? Yeah, oh, I left you, NHS. Please tell me you get soldiers with it sometimes. <laughs> Can you eat the egg in the form of a cake? Uh, oh. no. I, I think it's just basically I've got to go in. What have you turned up as a cabby cream's egg? I've just got to go in and eat some soft cooked eggs. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you... Are they just doing it to take the piss well, out no, of him? Like, like, oh, look at him. He's going to die. He ate something he's allergic Aller- to. Allergies oh. change over time. I, I can't do this. I've got to go you, back. You grow, <laughs> you, you grow out of allergies. You grow into new allergies. And I used to be allergic to eggs, but now they're saying I'm not. But to make sure, I've got to go into a hospital and eat some eggs. Do you know what? Should we call it a day? Yeah. This, we'll, we'll call this a cliffhanger. You can't. Will Badger be able to eat eggs on the I next mean, podcast? We won't find out until July. But my plan is right. Will Badger be able to eat eggs in July? It's very exciting, though. I'm 32 years old. I've never eaten an egg. I'm going to find out in July. Oh, yeah, you must, yeah you must have I mean, eaten like an egg. We'll have a fucking egg party. If yeah. you, have, you must have eaten things which have egg in them. I've had mayo. It makes me a bit poorly. That's what eating a fucking egg is like. Oh, You're not going to eat anything. I'm fucking get you into omelette, yeah. fucking bacon and egg sandwiches. You are in for a Fucking trip. If I'm not allowed to, I'm properly. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what I will do. <laughs> I'll bring round my egg mould that's in the shape of an owl. Whoa. And I'll make owl-shaped eggs. Oh, now we're into it. Now we're, now we're going somewhere. Owl eggs? <laughs> no. Different podcast. It's like an owl. <laughs> it's got the yolks of the eyes, and it oh. makes, like... Shape Good of times. Owl. Anyway, that's the unqualified food opinion podcast. <laughs> I think we've just created a new podcast yeah, through this podcast opinions, of movie horse cock sucking <laughs> right cheers for listening guys this is what happens if we have no formal structure <laughs> I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed this. Right. Um, cheers for listening we're going to be back probably around the time of Guardians of the Galaxy Galaxy Volume mm. 2 Next one, I mean as long as none of us die I mean we don't plan on the return of Kurt buses Kurt of buses. Career. also do you know uh, Sylvester Stallone did Garden Did not. Don't spy that for me. Can't wait for Rocky. Also, someone else. Who else is it? Pacino? <laughs> really? Oh, no, you're talking about Kurt Russell. No, Kurt Russell's in it. And Sylvester Stallone. And possibly somebody else who's famous. I can't remember. Someone. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> I can't remember. Don't. We'll talk about the next podcast when we talk about Garden Galaxy Volume 2. I, you just cannot wait to tune in, can you? Yeah, you're excited. You there? Cheers for listening. Uh... Find us on all the medias. They'll be linked in the descriptions. Facebook, Twitter, we're on iTunes, we're on SoundCloud, we're on the YouTubes, we're on Tinder, we're on Grinder, we're on... We're on Grinder? No, Sweet. we're on Face Party. Remember Face Party? I remember Face Party. Yeah, it's... before Facebook and MySpace. It was but Face after Party. Bebo? Before Bebo, <laughs> I believe. When it was a dialogue. We're on Kick? Yeah, if you want, mate. Whatever. Do we have a MySpace? We're on Tumblr. From MySpace, name something else. Instagram, we said that one. What? We said Instagram. Yeah, we're on Meeting Instagram. Meeting people in, in human form. No, no, no. Never, no, I hate human form. Don't people. meet us in human form. We've got a forum. <laughs> I'll have to assume it first. We're, on, we're in Tron. We're inside Tron. The, the, the Tron old film, cool. Tron. We should do an episode. We're in the Matrix. Don't you shake your head at me. Tron's not like that. Oh, Tron's fucking <laughs> awesome. Tron is the coolest thing that's ever happened. We are inside your mind. We're in Weird Science. We're the woman from Weird Science. We're behind you right now. We're, we're, Don't look. We are basically the internet. We're Agent Smith. Whatever you want. Cheers. Bye. Please, please review. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you in the, the next time.